Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today we're back here at the module because I want to show you how you can use a Wi-Fi throttle like this TCS UWT100 to run trains on your power cab controlled model railroad. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I want to ask you to take a second to subscribe. Click on the subscribe box and when that comes up, click on the little bell right next to it and click all. Okay, let's go ahead and talk first about what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of using wireless throttles of various kinds to control trains on your model railroad. Because, you know, everybody, it seems like, now has a wireless throttle option for their DCC systems. I've been using various uh, Digitrax wireless throttles uh, for over 20 years now to control trains on my various model railroads. And personally, I can't imagine going back to a wired throttle. It just gives you so much more freedom and flexibility. But what are the advantages of using a Wi-Fi throttle over one of the proprietary systems like the Digitrex uh, duplex uh, throttles or those offered by MRC and NCE for their systems? Well, first let's talk about one thing. Those particular wireless systems are system specific. They can only be used with Digitrax or MRC or NCE command stations. So that means that you're limited. If you go to a friend's house, then you, and, and they don't have the same type of system as you do, then you're not gonna be able to use your wireless throttle when you go there. Now, one of the advantages of Wi-Fi throttles is they are not system dependent. So you can use your Wi-Fi throttle on just about anybody else's model railroad as long as they have a Wi-Fi interface set up. And there are some limitations with other types of Wi-Fi interfaces. Typically those that are uh, from Digitrax, the Linwi, the MRC version, and uh, the WFD30 that's available for use with NCE systems, they're limited to somewhere around four uh, throttles, okay? So that's basically all you can use with those. However, when you go out and, and use a, a wireless router like used in your home uh, internet system, uh, it's only limited by the number of devices that that uh, router can control. And I can tell you it's got to be a lot more than four or eight because, you know, a lot of these systems can control many devices and provide a Wi-Fi connection to many different devices in your home. And that's what makes it so simple is because most people already have a wireless uh, Wi-Fi router in their homes for their internet connection. So if you've already got that, and if you've already got the USB interface, then you've already got the two components that you need to use a Wi-Fi throttle like this one. But that's not what you're limited to because you can also use an iPhone with a program like Y throttle that will allow you to turn your iPhone and they have a similar package for Android phones as well uh, into a wireless throttle. In addition, you can use the same program with your iPad. So you could control trains with your iPad as well. And engine driver is available for your Android tablets uh, and your Android phones. So there's a number of different options right off. Uh, while I'm on it, there are also, in addition to TCS uh, Wi-Fi throttles, uh, Pico and ESU make Wi-Fi throttles, and there are other, I believe, European uh, DCC systems that offer Wi-Fi connectivity as well. So there's a lot of different options out there, and it's increasing as we move along. Right now, the UWT100 is available uh, from TCS, and this summer they're coming out with the UWT50, which is a smaller, slightly smaller version of this handheld throttle, but it has a potentiometer type controller or an encoder with a knob. So instead of using the thumb wheel to control train speed, you can use a conventional knob type throttle interface. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how this works with the NCE power cap. Now the way this 
operates. The throttle itself can connect to your household wireless router. And because it can connect to that, it can then connect to the computer that you're using, say with Decoder Pro, uh, if it's connected uh, to the internet through that same router. So basically then, if you have the PowerCab USB interface uh, that I've talked about in other videos, and I'll put a link to those videos up here above me, uh, so you can go back and take a look at those. But as long as you have that combination of Decoder Pro and the USB interface for the NCE system, then you can go ahead and make the connection. And in just a minute, I'll show you on my Windows computer how to go ahead and do that in uh, how to make that connection or how to activate that Y throttle connection in Decoder Pro. Because that's what it's called. It's called Y throttle. And the app for the iPad and the iPhone is also called Y throttle. The one that's available for the Android devices is called Engine Driver. So there you go. And there's also various versions for other uh, types of systems in the European market as well. Now, with the, uh, with the um, TCS Wi-Fi throttle, uh, as soon as the system comes up and is connected uh, through Windows and through Decoder Pro, uh, then you can automatically just link right to your Wi-Fi router. And this one, it, it will automatically try to make a connection to the last router that it made a connection with. So it just automatically reconnects or looks for that Wi-Fi connection to activate it. Okay, so I've got the TCS Wi-Fi throttle. I've selected uh, Locomotive 1363. And let's uh, go ahead. You can see that uh, we've got the shunt whistle identified, the main whistle, and the brake. And those are the heads-up display that came from uh, Decoder Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, let's take a look at the locomotives available to us. We can uh, go ahead and click on uh, Locomotive Select. And you can see all of the different locomotives in my roster have been downloaded to the throttle. And I can just scroll through and select uh, the one I want, or I can hit the Escape key and get back to uh, 1363. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the whistle. And we can pull it up. Okay, let's uh, back him out of there. And I'm going to bring him a little bit down here. Get him out of the way. And I'm going to show you another feature here. Right here on the left, there's this one little button. And that's the recall button. And it controls the recall stack. And within the recall stack are numerous locomotives that you might have been using uh, previously. So you can just select those. Now I've only got two in here because I haven't been using it, but you can see it's selected 3202 now. So I'm going to reverse that and blow the whistle. And you can see it's that locomotive just to the right of the throttle. So we can start backing that one up. See if I can stop it over the magnet, and we cut out that one car. Come forward, and we're back in there again. Pull forward. Stop. And now I can just hit the recall button again, and we're back to 1363 and I can bring him up.
So these Wi-Fi throttles are, are an extremely responsive uh, mechanism here. And uh, you can see you get essentially no delay whatsoever when you're using these. Now, I, another thing I want to point out about these Wi-Fi throttles like the uh, UWT-100 and, and various others is that they can also uh, connect to the proprietary uh, uh, interface devices like the LNWI for the local net and the MRC interface for MRC and various others. So even though that I'm showing you how to use these uh, with a, uh, a Wi-Fi router, they can also be used along with the proprietary network uh, interfaces uh, from these various companies. So just wanted to make sure you, you understood that as well. Okay, now that we've taken a look at how the uh, TCS Wi-Fi throttle works, let's take a look at uh, the uh, iPad and the iPhone uh, Y throttle app, and I'll give you a, an idea of how it works in the same mode. And then after that, we'll take a look at how to uh, set all this up in Decoder Pro. This is just a, a larger version of what you would see on your iPhone. Uh, basically, uh, if we go ahead, if I hit roster here, you can see my entire roster. I can scroll through all of it and select any one of those locomotives I want to use. We can go in here, check on it on consist, set up a consist. Uh, if we want, go back to the keypad. We could select a locomotive here to run, and we can go to the list of recent locomotives. And since I haven't been using this for controlling trains, um, then it doesn't have anything in there. But we could go back here and we could go ahead and enter a locomotive address. Let's see what happens if I try to control the address. Let's go forward. So that's the way it works. It's very slick, very straightforward. And then once you're done, you can release that address, and that's it. And as you can see, it looks identical on the iPhone itself. So that's an option for you as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how to set this up uh, in Decoder Pro. Now, I assume, first off, that you have your USB uh, interface working, and you've got your power cab connected to your computer uh, and to Decoder Pro. So, as you can see here, my NCE is online in both cases for the programmers. So, let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up the Wi Fi connection. So, you go up here to edit and come down to preferences, and then we wait for that to open up. And you'll see, let me get this in here. There we go. If you look down the left hand side, there's something that's called wide throttle. That's our communications protocol. So let's go here and you'll see right here under network it says start automatically with application. Make sure that is clicked on. And what happens then, as soon as you turn on Decoder Pro, uh, it will go ahead and uh, open up the wide throttle interface. So you will be able to connect Wi Fi throttles through your household um, wireless router uh, to, your com uh, and to your computer and therefore to Decoder Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead. That's all you have to do at that point, uh, except do a save here. And it's going to ask me to re restart. I'm going to say later because I've already got it set that way. Um, and if you look here then, this is what comes up when you open up um, Decoder Pro. The Y throttle interface comes up and it will list any um, throttles that are connected to the, uh, to the system at any given time. Okay, so you can see right here it now says TCS throttle, right there. So we're good to go with the TCS throttle uh, in Wi-Fi mode to control locomotives on the NCE 
layout. Okay, now I want to go ahead and, and show you something while we're in Decoder Pro that uh, I think a lot of people aren't aware of. But let's go ahead and I'm going to open up a locomotive here. And look down here uh, at the bottom. It says Labels and Media right here. Let's click on that. Let it open up. Okay, and you can see it comes up with a list of all of the various functions. Okay, so function zero is our headlight, our shunt whistle, our main whistle, and so on, down through all of the different functions. Now, the neat thing is, if you fill this out uh, for your various functions, when you are using your Wi-Fi throttle, uh, these functions will be downloaded to the throttle itself for each locomotive that you are controlling. So for each locomotive in your roster, you can have a customized set of labels for all of your various functions, which will be downloaded when you are controlling that locomotive on your TCS Wi-Fi throttle or your, um, your Android phone, your iPhone, um, your iPad, whatever you're using for the Wi-Fi wide throttle connection. So then you just save it to the roster and you would of course need to go and do that for each one of your locomotives in your roster. Now another neat thing that happens when you log on uh, to Decoder Pro with your wireless throttle, it will go ahead and, and download your entire roster into the throttle. And that way when you go to select a locomotive, you will get a on-screen display of all of the locomotives in your roster. So all you have to do is just scroll right on down through that list and select the locomotive that you want. Uh, also with the, uh, with the TCS uh, uh, Wi-Fi throttle, um, if you start to type in uh, um, a locomotive address, like in this case 1363, if I start typing in 1363 on the throttle when I'm getting ready to select a locomotive, it will go ahead and jump, jump on down to all of the locomotives that start with 13 and, and eventually it'll narrow it down to 1363. So it makes it real easy to select locomotives even if you have a very large roster. Well, that's a wrap on today's video. You know, since I got this uh, Wi-Fi throttle, the TCS UWT100, uh, almost a year ago now, uh, it has become my favorite throttle because in spite of the fact that it's got this thumb wheel type controller, I really found out that I liked it because uh, it really just is in the right place. It's slightly recessed and it's very easy to use, even though I've got a little bit of arthritis in that thumb and in my other thumb as well. But at any rate, it really is, it's a nice lightweight throttle and it makes it so easy to control your locomotives. Now, of course, the one program, the one limitation that you will find with all of these uh, Wi-Fi throttles like this one and with your handheld, your telephone and your iPad and Android devices is you can't do any programming, okay? You can control your trains, you can do a lot of other neat things and I'll have a follow-up video on a lot of the features of this device now that I've had it for a year. I want to show you guys some of the stuff I've found that is so cool. But one of the real limitations is because it's the Wi-Fi system, it is not set up for programming. So you cannot do programming with these handheld devices. You can still use Decoder Pro to do your programming or you can still use your system specific handheld throttles for programming. Remember you still have your, your main power cab uh, throttle device that uh, you can use for all of your programming that you want to do using a throttle. And of course, if you've got the USB interface, you can do your programming using Decoder Pro. So those options are available to you, but there's a lot of power in these new Wi-Fi devices. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot more of these coming uh, in the near future from other companies as well. So, have a great weekend. We'll see you here on Monday, maybe, with another video. I'm not making any more promises. Bye now.